Game delays aren't rare, and as the year goes on, the list of games delayed in 2022 has only grown larger, from Starfield to Redfall. So, to help keep it all straight, we've compiled a list of all the games delayed so far. A quick note before we get started, though, is that only games with delays across all available systems have been included. But with that said, enough delay, let's get to the list. Redout 2 the futuristic high-octane racer Redout 2 will be hitting the accelerator a little bit later than planned. Scheduled to launch in May 2022, the game was delayed just before its original release to June 16th. It's not a huge delay, but you'll have to keep playing the original for a little bit longer before this one hits the finish line. Tuchia. T-T-T-Chia. Sorry, had to do it. Anyways, Tuchia has been delayed to next year, with the quote, control anything adventure game needing more polish and a chance to add a little details, according to the announcement. The game has been in development for more than three years thus far, and it also comes with a fully playable ukulele that has both gameplay and creative implications, which is enough for me to know that it'll be worth the wait. Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown The next entry in the Test Drive Unlimited series will no longer arrive in 2022. Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown takes 550 kilometers of a Hong Kong island and makes it playable in a driving, lifestyle game. And the development team stressed that polish is especially important. Looks like this one will need a few more tests before we can drive. Kerbal Space Program 2 the sequel to the acclaimed spaceflight simulation Kerbal Space Program will not be arriving in 2022. Kerbal Space Program 2 will arrive in early 2023 on PC, followed by a console release later that year, with Intercept Games emphasizing quality and polish as the primary reasons for the delay. Starfield One of the biggest games of 2022 will now be one of the biggest games of 2023. Bethesda's Starfield had set a date, November 11th, 2022, in order to mirror Skyrim's memorable 11-11-11 release date. But sadly, this won't be like Star Wars, as no longer will these release dates rhyme. Again, it's like poetry, so if they rhyme. The game will now be released at some point in 2023, with a new final release date to be determined. Bethesda gave a vague, polish explanation for the delay in an update post on social media in early May 2022. Redfall. Speaking of Bethesda, their other planned 2022 game, Redfall, was delayed at the same time as Starfield and also received a 2023 release window. The cooperative action game is being developed by Arcane Austin and looks to differ significantly from the studio's work on Dishonored and Prey. It will also be the first Arcane game to not be released on a PlayStation system in more than a decade, as the Xbox acquisition of Bethesda starts to bear fruit for the console. The Day Before. More like the day after, am I right? Okay, look, I gotta get my enjoyment somewhere when talking about delays. The highly anticipated MMO the day before was scheduled to launch in June, but the development team opted to make a big change. Now, to accommodate a switch to Unreal Engine 5, the day before will arrive on March 1st, 2023. Studio Fantastic promises a, quote, more advanced and adapted open worlds engine that will make the gameplay of the day before even more fantastic. MX vs. ATV Legends MX vs. ATV Legends was previously planned to release on May 24th. However, the game was delayed about a month ahead of that to June 28th. The delay was made in order to preserve quality, including eliminating bugs and keeping the frame rate high. So it looks like MX and ATV will have to wait a bit longer before they duke it out like King Kong vs. Godzilla. The Witcher 3 Current Generation the Witcher 3 released back in 2015 for last-gen systems, and PS5 and Xbox Series X and S versions are in development. However, CD Projekt Red opted to move development to its internal team rather than continuing working with Saber Interactive. The decision has resulted in the game moving from its Q2 2022 window to an unannounced future Q4 2022 date. While disappointing, given the disastrous reception of Cyberpunk 2077 due to its buggy state at release, any delay from CDPR is likely to be the right call. Two Point Campus The University Management Simulator Two Point Campus was previously supposed to be out on May 17th, but it appears Two Point Studios ran into quality issues with some of its supported platforms. The game is now coming on August 9th, with game director Mark Weebly saying the delay will let the team, quote, deliver the best possible game that can be enjoyed on all platforms. 
end quote. So you do have a bit longer to get your admission essays submitted. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel Previously planned to launch at some point in 2022, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel will now release in spring 2023. Nintendo didn't give a specific reason for the delay, though with any Zelda game, the reason can usually amount to making sure it's perfect. The sequel will include gameplay in the air as well as the ground, and it sports the same visual style as Breath of the Wild. Sons of the Forest the much-anticipated follow-up to The Forest was originally planned to launch in May, but Sons of the Forest developer N Night Games now says that window was overly ambitious. The survival game is now scheduled to arrive in October, and given its spooky themes, this new window might just actually be the perfect choice. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League Rocksteady's first full-length game since Batman Arkham Knight needs a little bit more time to cook. Scheduled for a 2022 release previously, the developer announced Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League will now be arriving in 2023. The game features characters like Harley Quinn and Deadshot, and it's technically a narrative sequel to Arkham Knight, unlike the game Gotham Knights, which isn't set in the same universe. I know, confusing. EA Sports PGA Tour Talk about a double bogey. After already delaying the game once with an expected release window of late 2022, EA has opted to delay EA Sports PGA Tour a second time, and will have to do without the Tiger Woods name once again. The golf legend has switched teams and is now working exclusively with 2K Games. Starship Troopers Terran Command If there's any game that needs to have its bugs squashed, it's Starship Troopers Terran Command. Based on the amazing cult classic sci-fi satire film, which was itself based on a non-satirical book of dubious morality, the game was supposed to release at the end of March. However, it will now arrive on June 16th. It's currently content complete, but the development team didn't want to have to fix it post-launch with further patches. Well, I expect the best and I give the best. Now have fun, that's an order. Advanced Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp this one hurt. Less than two months before it was due to release, December 3rd, 2021, Advanced Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp was pushed back to April. It was then pushed back just a month before launch in response to world events, almost certainly meaning the war in Ukraine. Far more than a remaster, this complete remake of the two Game Boy Advance era Advance Wars games sports a new art style and support for up to four players. Given how long it's been since the series' last game, a few more months of waiting feels like nothing at this point. Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl Planned previously for an April 22 launch, the long-awaited Stalker 2 has been delayed to December 8th. The seven months are, according to GSC Game World, needed to, quote, fulfill its vision and achieve the desired state of the game, end quote. Based on its announcement, it appears the majority of this time will be spent on testing and polishing, but the game will launch on Game Pass when it does come out. That being said, however, development was temporarily sidelined following the Russian invasion of Ukraine, as GSC Game World Studios is based in Kyiv. While the developers have recently restarted work on the game, it wouldn't be surprising if another delay might be on the horizon. Frontiers Warhammer Age of Sigmar RTS Can a game be delayed if it doesn't have a final name yet? Apparently so, as Frontier Development has announced its previously teased Warhammer Age of Sigmar will now likely not arrive until later in 2023. But this should be fine for Warhammer fans, as they have quite a few of those games to play in the interim. Rumbleverse Only just announced in December 2021 at the Game Awards, Iron Galaxy's Rumbleverse has already been delayed. It will no longer release in February as previously planned, and the beta test has also been pushed back to an unspecified date. No replacement release date has been set yet, with the team saying it wants to build a great community for the game and needs to, quote, make sure we can get that right. The Settlers The off-delayed strategy game The Settlers has been delayed again, this time indefinitely. Previously planned to launch on March 17th, the game was pushed back to an undetermined future date after the game's closed beta received criticism. Ubisoft Dusseldorf is using the time to quote, improve the game and push quality as its main priority for all players. Looks like the settlers will need more time to get settled. I know, hate me in the comments, I had to do it. Forspoken 
Square Enix and Luminous Productions originally planned to launch Forspoken in May, but the decision was made to further add polish and make improvements a few months before that date. Now, the game is coming on October 11th for PS5 and PC, offering a unique take on fantasy and magic in an action-adventure game. And that's the list of every game delayed in 2022. Which game on this list were you most looking forward to, and which hurt the most to hear of its delay? Which of my jokes were the worst ones to hear themselves? Let us know all that in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our coverage of these games whenever they release right here on GameSpot. Until then, thank you for watching.